Welcome back to Then for Flex. In today's video, we are diving into the world of motor control. I will show you how to interface the L298N motor driver within Arduino Nano to control a DC motor. Whether you are building a robot, car or any project that involves motor, this tutorial will help you. So let's get started. We will require the following components for this project. Arduino Nano, L298N motor driver module, DC motor, power supply, breadboard and jumper wires. Let's start by understanding the L298N motor driver module. It is a dual edge bridge motor driver which means it can control the direction and speed of two DC motors. The module can drive DC motors that have voltages between 5 to 35 volt with a peak current up to 2 ampere. Give the supply voltage from 5 to 35 volt at the 12 volt pin and ground. If your supply voltage is greater than 12 volt, then make sure to remove the 12 volt jumper. 5 volt pin will act as output if the VS will be less than 12 volt and 5 volt pin will act as input if the VS will be greater than 12 volt. Remove the jumpers on the enable A and enable B if you want to control the speed of DC motors and connect these to PWM pin of the Arduino. Today we will focus on controlling one motor. It consists of the following pins VCC, ground, IN1 and IN2 control the direction of motor 1. Enable 1 control the speed of the motor using PWM. Output 1 and output 2 connect to the two terminals of the motor. Now let's wire it up. First connect the VCC and ground of the L298N module to the power supply. Then connect IN1 and IN2 to the digital pin 2 and 3 of the Arduino Nano. The enable 1 pin will connect to the digital pin 9 for PWM control. Finally connect the motor to output 1 on the L298 module. Connect the middle terminal of the potentiometer with NR pin of the Arduino Nano. Connect the other terminals with 5 volt and ground of the Arduino Nano. As you can see the motor runs forward for 10 seconds. And then 10 seconds backward as per our code. We can control the speed of the motor with potentiometer. You can easily tweak this setup to control two motors or even eight sensors for more advanced projects. And there you have it. A quick and easy way to control a DC motor using L298N motor driver and Arduino Nano. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this. Drop your questions and project ideas in the comment below. Thanks for watching.